Hey guys, it's Tammy. Welcome to my crazy channel. I have not been around for about a week or, or over a week. I have been in the hospital. I'm still in the hospital. I'm doing this video so that I'm getting released on Friday, so in a couple more days, so that when I get released, I'm going to be able to um, upload this video. There's no Wi-Fi here. Don't ask me how that's even possible to not to have Wi-Fi for your patients, but no Wi-Fi, so um, unfortunately I can't upload this until I get home, but I wanted to share my little story with you about what's going on. So I'm in the Fort Saskatchewan Hospital. Um, I've been here for over a week, and what happened was um, I woke up on Wednesday morning, a week ago on Wednesday morning, um, with severe, severe severe pain on the right side of my chest just right underneath my breast so where the bottom of my breast is that is where the pain was and it was incredibly intense it was sharp it was I thought I was dying like if I if it was on my other side of, if it was on the left side definitely I would have thought I was having a heart attack um, but I, I knew it wasn't a heart attack but I knew something was wrong. And I decided, okay, what is going on? And I got up, I sat up, and about half an hour, it went away. I thought, okay, you know, this is really weird. So I laid back down and tried to sleep and woke up about an hour later with what I thought was severe heartburn. And it was just burning all across my chest. I was really uncomfortable. And I thought, okay, I've got heartburn, like massive heartburn. And that sharp pain came back. I'm like, okay, what is going on here? Something's not right, but I didn't want to rush to emergency looking like an idiot. And so I kind of spent the day, stupid me, this is a lesson if you know something's not right go to emergency even if you look like a fool go to emergency because i almost died from this guys i did i almost died if it wasn't for the grace of god i would not be here right now and that's the truth um so i am so so lucky always listen to what your inner self is saying you know even if you think that you're gonna look like a fool it doesn't matter um, so I ignored it, and finally around, I don't know, 6 o'clock in the evening, I called my sister and said, look, I think I need to go to emergency. So she took me to emergency, and so my niece, my sister, and I, and, um, I'm going to do another video on that experience because I'm mad about it, and I probably might be filing a lawsuit, so, um... I'm not going to comment too, too much about it at this point, but I will eventually, I think, do a story time about my little experience um, with that. It was not fun and not pleasant, and I'm not happy. But anyway, um, it ended up that I had to have tests done. I had CT scans done. They did um, an echo of my heart, and my heart was good, and it ended up that I had blood clots in my lungs. And I got admitted into hospital. And the blood clot, so basically this is the little thing. If you remember my last couple of videos where I talk about the cellulitis and I had, my leg was swollen, I showed you guys my really swollen leg and all of that crazy stuff that was going on. And it turned out that one of the medications that I was given for the heavy bleeding um, called the trimaximic acid. I'll put the word somewhere in the video here and link the video where I talk about that pill um, has been linked to what's called DVT. So this is where people get blood clots in their their veins and their legs, usually their legs, and um, it can be life threatening. And um, that's what happened. I got blood clots in my leg. My leg swelled out. Then it got infected. And then the blood clot started breaking loose. 
and traveled through my heart into my lungs and that's what happened and um, I've been in the hospital since very painful very unpleasant experience and um, yeah it's been it was scary and I almost didn't make it but I'm here and I'm doing this video and um, yeah This whole cancer experience has been one thing after the other and I don't know sometimes I I wonder what's happening it's almost 9 30 here people probably like, well, I got my hospital room door closed they probably think I'm nuts um, I've had to, be, had to be using a lot of narcotics to, for the pain. Um, for the most part, most of the nurses are pretty good. Some of them are, I have to fight to get pain relief, but, um, it hasn't been too bad. I am really disappointed that they didn't check the first time I came into emergency three weeks ago for my leg to check and see if I had blood clots then um, and that's what I'm going to see a lawyer about because I don't think that's fair and I want to pursue that not because I'm hungry or money hungry or greedy but because this was a huge mistake that could have cost me my life I've been fighting for three years um, to live with cancer and that's not fair is totally not fair and I want it investigated um, so I don't know I don't want to get into too much detail about the technical stuff and all that but I just want to tell you that I'm doing okay I'm going to be making my videos again soon um, and I just want everybody to remember that there's always a bright side to everything and the bright side to this is that I'm still here and I um, am still here to enjoy life and God saw me through it and there's going to be a lot of changes I have to inject myself now every day with blood thinners I can't take the pills it has to be injected and this is not going to be a fun experience the other thing too is hospital food stuff yeah but today is actually the first day that I've actually had an appetite I had a shower today I look like a hot mess, but that's okay. Um, and other than that, I'm doing really well. So I will be home on Friday. By the time this is uploaded, I'll be home and hopefully be working on some new material for you guys. So until next time, guys, I just want to remind you, happy living. Because life really is precious and short. And I learned that lesson last week. See you guys soon.